Okay, so in this video I will show you how you can use iCloud Photo Library to free up space on your phone, your iPhone or your iPad. It works the same on both devices. It's really cool because then you can buy a, a device, an iPhone or an iPad with only 64 gigabyte of storage. It will be enough for a lot of more photos. So let's see for example here on the iPhone. If you go into settings, then if you go into iCloud, then in the iCloud settings, you choose iCloud again. Here you can see I have used 91 gigabyte of iCloud storage. And as you can see, this is the feature that you sh should turn on. You go into photos. And here you choose to have iCloud Photos on. And here you choose Optimize iPhone Storage. You can, of course, have shared albums on too if you want to share albums with others. And of course, you need to pay for iCloud Storage. I pay for 200 gigabyte of iCloud Storage. But instead of buying a, a very expensive 256 gigabyte iPhone, you can buy just 64 gigabyte version and pay for iCloud Storage instead. So this feature is on. Then I can show you. We go into Manage Storage. Here you can see, as I said, I have 200 gigabyte of storage and I have used 91 gigabyte. Down here, you see that Photos takes up 42 gigabyte. 42 gigabyte. And this is a 64 gigabyte of iPhone. I have 42 gigabyte of photos. So let's see how much the photos take up of the iPhone storage. Then go back to the settings, then go down to general. And down here you see iPhone storage. Click on that. Here you see that I have a 64 gigabyte version of the iPhone. And you also see that I have 42 gigabyte used of that. And down here you see that the photos only takes up 4.63 gigabyte of storage and I show you I have over 40 gigabyte of photos but those photos are in the iCloud storage on this phone it only uses 4.63 gigabyte of storage but if I go into the photos app I see all my photos here I have 14,000 829 photos and 19 videos. How is that possible? Well, iCloud Photo Storage works like this. They only store the photos that you have recently taken and the photos that you have recently looked at. Every other photo is in the iCloud Photo Library, on the iCloud Storage. So when you click on a photo, for example, this one, if that is a photo that you have not looked at recently and haven't taken recently, it downloads from the iCloud photo storage. So what you see here on every photo is actually a very, very tiny and small thumbnail. The photo itself is not stored on your phone. It's in the iCloud photo storage. That is how it works. So if you pay for iCloud storage, you can use up all that storage for all your photos and you don't have to worry about that your phone storage will be full and you don't have storage left for all your photos because you have them in the iCloud photo library. The iOS Operating system works automatically if you have these features that I show you. Let's go back to iCloud settings. If you have this set up like this, then it's total automatically. It optimizes the iPhone storage automatically. If your iPhone is low on space, full resolution photos and videos are automatically replaced with smaller device sized versions. Full resolution versions can be downloaded from iCloud anytime. So if you have these settings on, it's totally automatic, totally automatically. 
So it feels when your phone starts to be full and then removes the latest photos you have, the latest photos that you haven't watched and so on from your phone automatically. And then only store a very tiny, tiny thumbnail of the photo. That is how cool this is. So just buy iCloud photo storage and then turn this on and you are done. You can take a lot of photos and videos until your iCloud photo storage is full of course. And you don't have to worry about the storage of your phone. So you can buy a smaller 64 gigabyte version for example instead of a 256 or 512 gigabyte storage phone because they are so expensive. So go for a 64 gigabyte and buy iCloud photo storage instead. And this works of course exactly the same on the iPad. You have all the photos here 14,829 and if you go into settings you can go into iCloud settings, click on that. Here you can see I've used 9 to 1 gigabyte of storage in iCloud, exactly the same as on the iPhone. And I have 200 gigabyte of iCloud storage. We have photos on. I can go into the settings here. And you see the same settings are on. iCloud photos and optimize iPad storage. That means that they remove the oldest photos and replace them with a very tiny small thumbnail. And they get downloaded when you need to to your phone. So you don't have to worry about storage on the iPad or the iPhone. So now let's see how it looks when you go into manage storage on the iPad. As you can see here, we have 42.3 gigabyte of photos in total. The same amount on both the iPhone and the iPad because they sync with each other. Let's see how many photos, how much storage the photos take up on the iPad. As you remember, it was four gigabytes something on the iPhone. Let's go into general and then iPad storage. And as you can see here, I have 66 gigabytes of storage used of 256 gigabytes. This is a 256 gigabytes uh, version of the iPad. I bought that because I work with a lot of video because I'm a YouTuber and I video edit on the iPad. Here you can see that the photos takes only up 2.86 gigabytes of storage on this iPad. So I have over 40 gigabytes of photos available on both the iPhone and the iPad. And on this iPad, it only takes up 2.86 gigabyte of storage. So that is how easy it is to set up iCloud photo library. You just go into iCloud settings, click on iCloud and then click on photos. And you turn on iCloud photos and optimized iPad storage or optimized iPhone storage if you are on a phone. That is how easy it is to optimize and don't have to worry about your storage on your iPhone or your iPad. Just pay for iCloud photo storage, just pay for iCloud storage and you are good to go. You can store so, so many photos. You don't have to worry about how many photos you are storing. So this is total automatically and it's awesome to use actually it's awesome and if you have a mac you can also turn on this exact same feature on the mac and you see all the photos on both your mac iphone or ipad and they share the same storage you don't have to have a 256 gigabyte of macbook air for example you only need for example an old 64 gigabyte macbook air or something and you can have this feature on and you can have a lot of photos available because they are not stored on the device itself. Works great. I think this is one of the best feature in iOS and also with iCloud. Of course you need to have a good uh, mobile plan if you want to use this when you're not at home for example. I have unlimited mobile data plan so I don't have to care about using mobile data at all but uh, maybe you don't have and then you can have this feature on of course anyway and then you can have it sync your photos and so on when you are on wi-fi at home so that's it 
I think this is an awesome feature that everyone should use. Don't bother with Google, Google Photos, don't bother with Dropbox or anything else. Just use iCloud. Use iCloud storage and you are good to go for much of the stuff. Okay, bye. Thank you.